hope you enjoyed that new intro guys we got some fun stuff coming up for this video so be sure to enjoy it sit back relax have a good time Alrighty, well, here we are. We made it to Volkswagen here in Chattanooga. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick little tip. If you ever come down this way, if you show up early and buy an hour and a half like I did, they'll tell you to go over and pull and park to your appointment time. So, they do have parking if you show up early. So, I don't know if there's a cutoff as to how early you can show up, but in the future, if you do come down over here to where I'm at, you'll at least be able to get a place to park until your appointment time, so you don't have to worry about being stuck on the side of the road. Well, the good news is we got a red light, so that means we're locked in, so they should be unloading us soon. But just out of curiosity, I was wondering how many of y'all hate backing up onto these things just like I do? I think they're a complete pain in the rear, personally. Don't forget to chalk your tires. Alrighty, well, we're here at Volkswagen, got that done. So, once we get out of here, we're going back down to Conley. I'll see y'all then. See that red blinking light? That is the most hated thing in my world tonight. So, what I was told was supposed to be a quick and easy drop and hook to go get back down and grab another load. It's turned into a live load, or live unload, excuse me, sorry. So, we're sitting here, me and Tank are, and we're trying to beat the red blinking light of death and hope that we can actually get something done tonight. So, uh, there's only so many videos we can watch and so many things we can do before we run out of sheer boredom. So, But that's okay. It's part of the job. We'll get through it. Tomorrow will be a bigger, brighter, better day, and maybe if we're lucky, we might be able to still make it down there to grab that load. If not, well, we'll have to grab it in the morning, won't we? Nothing we can do about it since we're sitting here in the door. So, All right. Me and Tank will see you all later. Are you really begging right now? Really, Tank? You're, are you really? Is this what you, is this what you want? This, this right here, is is that what you want? Hmm. What do you say? Tank, don't hide your face. We say. Know what you want? We say. Are you really begging right now? Really, Tank? Are you begging? Are you trying to get them nom noms? Well, speak. Speak. All right, fine. You may have a nom nom because you spoke. Good boy. God, you're messy. All right, well, me and Tank, as you can tell, we obviously beat the red blinking light of death last night, but we did not make it down to our pickup last night. We didn't have enough time to be able to drive down there, get into Atlanta drop and hook and all that good stuff and swap around the trailers and be able to make it back out with the amount of time so we ended up stopping last night and finding a place to park so 
pretty close to our destination so that way we could get in and out and we're running low on hours anyway with the way everything is so that being the case running on recaps there's only so much i could go today due to the amount of hours that came back to me so i ran until i had pretty much high tank yes everyone knows you're adorable yes but anyway so yeah we ran until we pretty much ran out of time and didn't have nowhere else to be so we are on our way back up toward north vernon indiana just there north little little ways north of louisville mike if you're watching i'll be rolling through your neck of the woods be looking for me so anyway we will be on our way at probably about four o'clock in the morning we'll get up go get some coffee and get moving and be on our way so Yep, that pretty much uh, wraps everything up. We're just south of Tennessee, so tomorrow we'll get enough time back. We'll go knock out the rest of this load, and then we'll see what they got planned for us as time goes by. Hopefully we go back down to Laredo, but if not, you'll find out. We'll see you then. Well, get a load of this nonsense here. We went inside, or I did. to go see if uh, about a shower here at this good old flying hook well come to find out their showers are down so I guess that means we're gonna go pack up and we're gonna go to the loves I'll see y'all there well hello there guys sorry about that had to swap out the battery here for the gopro but anyway so yeah as you can see i've got receipts everywhere I'm doing one of those things that's a necessary evil going through and uploading all my receipts and all that good junk for my expenditures and things of that nature so Something that I wish someone would have told me or about earlier on in my career so that way I was able to get through and keep better track of all my receipts and be able to write some of that stuff off in a pre previous time period. But uh, yeah, no time like the present to learn, huh? So, yep, I've kept all my receipts for the last month i think it is that i've been doing this and i'm scanning them all in here um if you had didn't know i use atbs as my tax and accounting firm so they are a great help and a good resource and a good tool to utilize so so yeah, if you think about doing this uh definitely helps to have people to help you with taxes because uh that's one thing that you don't want to get behind on because uncle sam he don't care he wants his money and you know just anyone knows just the same as i do that when it comes to the irs they want their money it's their money and they need it now if y'all remember those commercials i can't remember who it is off the top of my head that did those but that's who that was so I'll tell you what price of diesel fuel it ain't cheap y'all but it's a necessary cost of operation and we gotta have it so it is what it is i suppose but anyway i didn't mean to lie to y'all last time we ended up we didn't go to loves we went to pilot it's the next exit down to get that shower so we are in north vernon indiana we got that load delivered and we're gonna go back to chrysler fiat we're gonna get some more transmissions to take back down to laredo i didn't expect to get this one but by god we got it so but yeah this is fun i guess doing all this and realizing how much money i've spent the last month on diesel fuel but it is what it is it's part of it so all right um, we'll see you in the morning and we will 
get try to get some footage of that sunrise. It's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. So I'm going to finish up with this tax stuff and getting these receipts scanned in, and I'll see y'all next time. You want to see just the saddest thing ever. Look at this poor dog. He's so bored he's licking the windows. Ah, you'd think he'd be mistreated or something. Nope, he's just a freaking weirdo. Oh well. Alrighty, well we're up, we're moving. I'm going to go finish my pre-trip. And we're going to get out of here. Go get loaded and head down to Texas. See y'all then. Look at that sunrise, y'all. Oh, it's just beautiful. Some of the favorite things about waking up, seeing that beautiful sunset. It's one of them things that, it's one of the small things in life that a lot of people overlook and take for granted. It's just so freaking beautiful. But anyway, we're wrapping up this video here. I just finished up my pre-trip letting the truck finish warming up so that way it'll run properly and shift and all that good stuff but <sighs> I wanted to talk to y'all for a minute and say thanks for watching thanks for sticking around all the likes comments subscri subscribes and shares and all that good stuff y'all have done great things so just want to let y'all know I appreciate every single one of you and I just wanted to again I want to challenge y'all it's that time of year go out do something nice for your your fellow man you know you never know what people are doing you never know what people are struggling with you never know what kind of demons they got fighting in their closets so and that's this that's the one part about this whole year that that's just sucked we've all been locked up we've all been cooped up and it's been a, it's been a rough year at least for me anyway and a lot of people I know. So, I know we're all flustered. I know we're all got our own differences and our own opinions and everything. But let's at least put that stuff aside. Let's have ourselves a Merry Christmas. A beautiful freaking New Year. And let's start 2021 off right when the time comes. So again, go out there. Love somebody. Give them a hug. You know, be nice. Even if it might inconvenience you, just go out there, do something great. Go out there and love somebody. Y'all have a great one. I love y'all. See you next time.